you clicked on the video and you want to know how to buy a house at auction. Well, let's go. Okay, so you found the property, you know what auction house it's with, and what do you do next? You read the legal pack. Now in the legal pack is everything, which is up on the screen now. The most important part of the legal pack to pay attention to is the special conditions. You do not want to go forward with an auction property without reading the special conditions because there are a lot of hidden fees in there. This is where a lot of newbies slip up. Get your solicitor to read through the legal pack for you to make sure everything is fine. Who doesn't read a legal pack? An idiot. Next up, due diligence. Make sure you have done your comparables. Make sure you have done a breakdown of the refurb cost. Make sure you've got all the extra fees, the hidden fees, the auction fees, your solicitor's cost, and all the numbers work. And then you have to view the property. Once you're in the property, you have already done a breakdown of the numbers, so you should know what the refurb costs are. When you go into the property, there are sometimes hidden surprises. Structural, you've miscalculated certain things. I always overestimate my refurb, so if the numbers add up at that point, when I view the property, it should still work because I've gone to worst case scenario, but sometimes it turns out better and I end up saving money, but guys, you have to make sure the numbers add up and this is the time to get it right once you're at the viewing. So now you've viewed it, the numbers add up, everything should work if you've done your due diligence correctly. So now you have to get your finances in order. You have to set a budget that you're willing to go to at auction. You have to get your bridging in place if you're taking bridging or you have to have your cash ready and do not let your head be ruled by your heart at auction. A very, very important tip. There are time restraints with auction properties. You've got to complete in 21 days, 30 days, 56 days, whatever the auction house sets. So make sure you're aware of this. And if you're using bridging, your broker is aware of this. So he can speak to the bridging company and explain the dates that are needed. If you need any help with finances, guys, I own a mortgage company. The link's below. Hit me up and I'll see what I can do for you. Next up guys, you can attend the auction in person or it might be an online auction. Now online auction, don't get click happy and a live auction, make sure that you spot what's going on in the room because a lot of auctions have people there who are just bidding the price up who work for the auction houses. Hopefully your bid is successful and you win and then all of a sudden the hammer comes down, you have to pay a 10% deposit straight away. Non-refundable as well, this is guys. It's a binding contract, so make sure that when you bid and the price that you are bidding, you are happy with because the money will come off your card straight away. Now is the time to instruct your solicitors, let them know that your bid was successful and also contact your mortgage broker and say, we need to get the ball rolling on whatever products they have in store for you because they should have already been made aware. Like I said, finances should have already been in place. This is the important time as well, guys, because you do have a time limit to complete and there are fines if you do not complete in the timescales that are set. So if you have followed all of the steps and processes that I have laid out in this video, the next time you see me should be at the final step guys is key collection. If you've done all the numbers correctly and you've done your due diligence right, you should end up with a fantastic property. A little tip, if you can buy pre-auction or you can find a property that didn't sell in the auction, these are motivated sellers and you've got more chance of making a better profit, but auctions are awesome and they're a clear indicator of where the market is going and there's a lot of stuff not selling at auction at the moment. So yeah, take that advice and keep an eye out at what's going on and I will see you next week for another video.